How's your heart doing? I'm, I'm you know, that hurt. It hurt because I it, let you go? It, it hurt, but, but, but you know, we're going to work it out. Yeah, we're going to work I it out. We're going to work it out. Yeah, we're going to work it out around 11 o'clock. You know why? Mm -hmm. It ain't over till it's over. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> She's a hilarious comedian, a talented actress, and an award-winning host whose talk show has become the place to be in daytime. And she shows no signs of slowing down. The hit series has already been picked up for a third season. Please welcome the always entertaining and beautiful Sherry Shepard, oh, everybody. Yay, yay. Okay, no, oh, right away, God. I need to talk about that kiss. Tell us all, what did the Lenny lips feel like? Girl, well, the first one was when he came on stage with me. He kissed inside of my neck, and I was just like, oh, my gosh. And then this one, I didn't expect it. So you know it's that awkward when you turn your head? Like, it was supposed to be a kiss, and I turned because I was like, something's going to happen. But it hit my eye, and I was like, I can't see, but I'm feeling good. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Now, speaking of Lenny, we need yeah. you to clear something up for yeah. us. Yes. We heard that you refused a movie that would have let you make love to Lenny Kravitz oh on camera. Oh my gosh, yes. It was, uh, it was a film by Lee Daniel who had done Precious yeah. because I was in the movie with Lenny Kravitz yeah. Yeah. and this was a movie he played a lawyer and it was like, it was, you know, coming off of, it was drugs and sex and I was a secretary that he was like involved with and it was, when I tell you sex against the wall, sex in the apartment, sex every, and I was too, I told Lee, I was like, I can't do it and he called me a chicken bleep and uh, <laughs> now I think, why didn't I take that role? <laughs> Oh. Sherry, I would have Why? paid Lee for the role. I would take the role right now. Like, I don't even need a body double for Lenny Kravitz love scene. So you want to bring it back? I bring it this. back. I will so. pitch it with Lenny. <laughs> Let's do it. Um, the Lenny kiss is just one time that you've been surprised, but people really love to get you. Mm -hmm. People love to shock a Sherry. Let's take a look <laughs> at some of our favorites. <laughs> One of them. Watch me earn you. Could you just say, Sherry, I love you? Thank you. Sherry, I loved you. I have wanted to make love to you for my whole life. I'm sorry. Wait. Oh my Wait. Oh God. Your reactions you know what I love? are priceless. I love it, but I love that I'm able to tell like everybody I'm crushing on. I want to make love to you, like, <laughs> because I know people are living vicariously through me. And I, who am I not to be a servant of everybody here? I am here <laughs> exactly. with you. Is there anyone that would have you floored still? Like, what's the mm -hmm. one celebrity you're hoping walks through that door? Oh, probably Michelle Obama and the man that she's married to. That guy that mm. she's married to. No, yeah, that uh, Mr. Michelle. Mr. Michelle. Mr. Michelle. Mr. Michelle. Like, I would love to see yeah. both of them. And, you know, like a Meryl Streep. I'm mm -hmm. such a fan of hers. Trevor Noah. I'm learning every every South African language because I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get Trevor. Are you going to do it? I'm going to talk to him in his language. You go right okay. ahead, honey. That's, that's what I'm going to do. I will be your handmaid. <laughs> Now, over the years, <laughs> you've taken advantage of the fact that people get you mistaken with Octavia Spencer. All the time. Now, apparently, Octavia Spencer is doing the same thing. Take a look <laughs> at a video that she sent you. You watch my show, The Sherry Shepard Show, every day? Every day. All That's right. how I start my morning, you know? I, I love you, and thank you for being a fan. Thank you so much. <laughs> the two of you to join forces. Have you ever talked about doing something together? Movie, TV series? You know, I would love to do like a Thelma and Louise yes. with Octavia Spencer. Like something that's going to make people laugh. Like I love when she did Mama. Mm -hmm. That scared the heck out of me. Yes. But uh, like a girl's trip, we just go and we just are picking up everybody. Look at us, looking like sisters. Oh, very you're ready to cute. party. You're ready yes. to party with yes. Octavia. Um, the other thing I love about you is you're very open about your dating yes. experiences mm -hmm. and what you look for in a man. What does your 18-year-old son, Jeffrey, have to say about your dating life? And are there any deal breakers when it comes to boyfriend now, material? Jeffrey wants to date everybody. But for me, he wants me to sit home and play Uno uh, all night. Jeffrey doesn't want me to do anything. Yeah. But his deal breaker is like, he'll. I can go out on a date if they got a girlfriend that's his age. Uh, then he'll be very, very open. He wants a, like a, a full, he wants to take advantage of it. Yeah, he's he like, a group date. 
Yeah, no, no, no group dating. Oh. He just wants her to have a daughter his age. Oh. Like, literally, he w he didn't have a date for the prom. And I said, Nisi's daughter, Dia, will go with you. And he said, how old is she? And I said, Dia's 21. And he goes, oh, man, why do you keep getting these old ladies? <laughs> <laughs> like, he wants somebody 18. I love that. Now, we need your hot take on something. Okay. Yeah. Because you're not afraid to say it like it is. Absolutely. NeNe Leakes recently mm -hmm. said that it's okay if her man cheats as long as it's respectfully done. And what you don't know is you won't hurt you. Yeah, like so we have to Yeah, hey, I won't hurt you. So I have to know. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with Miss Leeks? I think Nene should fire her therapist. <laughs> number one. Because I don't know how anything is respectful because the woman that you're cheating with knows that you're with Nene. So yeah. that right there is disrespectful. Yes. So even if you don't know Nene, everybody in Miami is going to know and then we're all gonna find out about it. So it's so you think it's respectful. But it's not. I think you kind of. I think there's a lot of some unhealed trauma in there. And and she, I got a therapist for you. I can see yeah. that, Doctor yeah. Sherry, coming yeah, soon. Sherry. Good girlfriends is what <laughs> Nene needs. Well, Sherry, thank you so much for stopping by at E News thank tonight. You. Make sure to check out Sherry every weekday. Check your local listings.